uh, welcome back to part two. Uh, we're just going to continue from where we left off. Uh, don't forget to hit the like, uh, subscribe, and comment on the video. Here we go. Now, what we want to do, since we have a form, let's go back here. Since we have a form, the form would be a post a method, not a get method, but a post method. We're posting it to this uh this um this path however this also wouldn't be a get it would be a post um so what we want to do first is uh we want to create two use states um let's call the first one uh character and let's call the second one uh, set character and I'll explain what that does a little bit. Uh, let's just do this. Uh, and then we're going to call this um, data. Um, let's say uh, character data. And then set character data. And this will be an object because it's a bunch of stuff coming back to us. Okay, so use state. So what we want to do is import use state from React. Uh, that should clear that up. So what we're doing here is we're saying uh, this character is what we're going to be putting in here. Uh, it's it's the it's the string that's going to be going in there and being sent over. So it, it's going to make more sense as we go along. So, so now that we have this set up, what we have to do is say constant handle submit because um, we're going to be passing it into this form. And what do you do to a form when you're done with it? You submit it. So that's where the whole concept comes from. And then we're passing it. This event listener. We're passing this event. So e uh, e dot prevent def default. Okay. So upon doing that, we're going to pass this. Uh, I'm going to explain what that means. I'm going to pass this as form on the submit and we're going to say handle submit okay so what this means is for this form that we have right here um any form in general whenever you type something in there so whatever you type in there whenever you post it and like you hit search or submit or whatever you hit this form reloads so it um it goes back to its default state so it refreshes everything, reloads everything, and we don't want it to do that. So we're saying prevent the event from occurring. So we're putting the handle submit in there. So inside this function, we're going to create constant, um, let's call this uh, 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 send data is equal to axiom. Well, this is going to be in a synchronous function, so a sync, because we're using Axios. So await axios.post, and we're posting it to HTTP localhost 5000. Now, because we're using a post method and we're posting to this, we're going to send in an object. And the object is going to be character. Why? Because this use state is holding on to this string. So whatever we typed in here is being held on to by this string. We're going to set it down here later. But it's going to be held. This string is going to be held in this state. Um, that just means it's going to temporarily hold it until we do something with it. So it's going to hold it. And whatever. So you're basically. Think of it as a. As a as a cup it's holding whatever uh, we want it to hold and the minute we use it we minute we use whatever's in a cup the cup goes back to being empty 
So that's exactly what this is. It's just a container that holds something. And the minute we use it, it goes back to being, uh, the container becomes empty again. So right now it's holding this variable called character. You can name this whatever you want, but this character represents this string. So we're gonna be passing this character in there uh, and we're passing it on to this, to this, um, uh, basically to this server. So we're doing that. And then while we do that, we're going to get uh, send. So now we're going to take whatever we got, the information we got, whatever we get from the post, and put set character. So the set character acts as the cup again. And we're putting whatever we got. And we're putting this uh, variable in there send data so let me re, uh, re explain what we did so this handle submit it's an asynchronous function uh, it's preventing this form from reloading every time we hit search so it, it's it's uh, preventing everything from being lost whenever we hit search uh, we're preventing that from happening within this handle submit because everything's within this handle submit function uh, that we're going to put on the form that we're going to attach to this form we're also sending a post to the back end with the character object, which is, let's say, AFASDO, whatever this is, is the character. It's being, it's in there. This, that's what this is holding. That's what this user, as you can see, the character here says string, the property character string. So it's holding this string, which is this. So it's holding this and it's sending it to the back end. So it's holding it until it gets to the back end to dump it out into the back end. So now what so now to get whatever um, information the back end sending back to us, we attach it to set character. Oh sorry, we attach it to not set character. My I misspoke. To set character data. So this is the data. So we're attaching the send data to set character data. That's that's what it is. Pardon me. So it's a uh, set character data. Now let's see. So this is it for the front end for the most part. You can also console log um, send data. So if we do this right now, nothing works. This nothing's gonna work here. So let's come down here. So where we have um, the input field, we're gonna put on change. And we're going to set this on change to E. Um, okay, so we're saying uh, E dot target dot value. And then here we're going to put set character. And the reason is we're saying, saying um, whatever value is in here, we're attaching it to set character. This, so the set, anything with the set character or set character data is what holds the information. Character and character data without the prefix, without the prefix set, is what it's going to be set to is it's what the, the the thing that's being held is going to become so let's say you put thor in here right um you put thor in here thor is being held by set character and it's shared with character so you're sending character over here to do uh whatever it has to do but anytime there's a change you reset it with character. So anytime there's a change that occurs, hence anytime there's an event change, anytime there's a change in the target value, you're attaching it to this. So if I said Thor here, and then on the next search, I said um, Hulk. So if you think about it, why 
would it know that you changed to Hulk and it's not just Thor? It's because whenever you put something and you search, this input field clears up and then something else. So that cup that I, the, prover the proverbial cup that I was talking about, that set character gets dumped out because you've, you've filled it out, but you've, uh, you've used it. So you've hit the search, you've poured it out and now you're putting something else within the cup again. And that's set in it while this is what, uh, this is the actual object that it is. So this is what is being transferred back and forth. This just resets the value. Um, I hope that made sense. That's the easiest way that I could uh, explain it. So um, I think, and as we go along, you will understand it more. So input class name, unchange this, and then we have to say type is text it's a text okay so now um, everything's pretty much set over here uh, all we have to do is say now we have to come back to the back end so as you see we uh, we commented this part out so what we're gonna do here is just this and say app dot post actually let me just clear this out less clutter uh, okay so we're saying app.post we're posting to localhost 5000 or whatever the server is um, constant information uh, we can keep everything the same way and then we're getting this so let's say we want to uh, use name that's fine whatever so we want to use name um, now we're going to be passing uh, this character right here. This is being sent over. This object is being sent over here. Character. So what we have to do beforehand is implement this body parser. So what body parser is doing is allowing you to grab a uh, 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 something from the body grab an item from the body and attach it to this um this api call so let's say uh, i believe it's app dot use copy that one second i just went to uh, my actual working code and copied it just so i don't take too long writing it out so app dot use course and then app dot use body parser dot url encoded Extended false app dot use body parser dot json. You can just copy this. Um, you can do another video where we expound more on this. But this is basically the syntax that allows you to parse a uh, an item in a body over to um, to the API or to whatever you're doing in the backend. So go ahead and save this. Now what we're taking from there. Now what we're doing is we're taking constant and we're taking this name, uh, sorry, we're taking this character. So this character here and the character that we put in there, we're, we're grabbing this character and we're saying is equal to request. So we're requesting this character uh, body. So it's a requested body. That's what we're doing. So now, uh, let's don't need that so now that's fine so save now what we can say is now so for example now if you go here nothing nothing should be here see it, it, it doesn't work because it's not a get it's a post so it's, it's it's sending over data now if I come back here to the front end here can see um, so uh, character set character data so this should be uh, so two things are wrong here actually the one thing's wrong here so send data dot data is um remember from what we spoke about earlier so this should be send data dot data and then when we console log here so this would technically be the second thing that's wrong it wouldn't be send data anymore because it, as, as we said, this data 
the send data dot data is now attached is being held by this cup which is set character data and that cup represents um, character data so now if we console log what is now character data we should be able to get the information of whatever we uh, send over to the server so let's see if this works let's see Thor okay so if I come over here all right so I, as you can see I put body parser here and I put this in camel case so this needs to be in camel case and uh, let's see what else anything else res.info.data dot data that's fine colors is fine let's see um, let's close this refresh this um, so it's saying cores error um i got the error um canceled so all i have to do was um close out the tab and um so if you're experiencing that you just clear the data uh clear the catch um, and then close it out and just reopen it and then it should be fine so like we were saying uh, so all the, the code is correct nothing's wrong with the code it's just a browser having an error um, so let's see say, say we have let's use Hulk for example actually let's use the same code and matter so now we search Thor as you can see we have the data we have this here uh, the data says results one Thor blah 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 as the Norse King so the one I actually used wasn't name. So if we come back here, uh, I didn't use uh, in public characters in, in, the, in interactive documentation. I didn't use name. I used name starts with. So let's just copy that just because you can type it out. It's whichever you please. So I just put that there, right? Instead of name, I just put name starts with. So that way, let's say we put th and then we search it so now so let's clear this th we search it so as you can see it's going to give us a total of 49 uh so well 20 results it's going to give us different results so it's going to give us this all these characters start with th so thaddeus ross thanos uh thanos ultimate blah 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 the captain blah 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 the fury so all of that starts with that so it shows we are properly linked to our back end so like i said earlier if you get an error cores error and you know everything you have everything set up this way um all you have to do is literally um uh close out of this uh close out of your uh, browser uh you can clear just the catch uh and reopen it and you should be fine it's just a browser issue uh so we have that so far so now uh so everything's working we have everything we need uh let's say hulk uh, what's this hulk we have this so we have nine different hulks hulk hulk lego Hulk Marvel zombies, blah, blah, blah. Now, the question is, how do we now render that onto the screen? So let's come here and let's add something else to this component. We're going to call it view.gsx. So in view, RAFCE, because we have that uh, extension, um, we're just going to do this. We're not going to be able to see anything right now, but we want to pass some things into uh, view so um, the buttons here so right after this button we have uh, actually let's just do this let's use this div, this div. Um, and say link uh, sorry not link uh, view so it's at the top it's going to import the view so we're saying view and we're going to pass um, this character data uh, where is it we're going to pass this character data where we're getting all this information we're going to pass it into here so view and we're going to call it 
um, uh, character information. And we're going to say we're going to pass um, character data into it. But we're just not, okay, so yeah, we're going to pass character data, but we don't want all this data. We just want character data, which is send data dot data. It's, that's what character data is. And we want to append this data to it. So if you remember when we were doing the get method earlier, how we did, how I explained that, that's exactly what we're doing now. So we're appending that data to it. So character data dot data, and we're sending that. And we want the name. So we want the character. So we can just say name is equal to character. So let me just close this out. Awesome. And now we can go into view. So we can close this out. We don't need that right now anymore. We can go into view. We can split this so we see both sides. And now we're going to pass these. Um, into there. So we're going to pass character information as well as name. Awesome. As well as name. So this is actually supposed to be um, sorry I just looked at my notes really quickly. I mean my reference really quickly. So come back here. Take this and make sure you just add it to this div here. Um, that's all we're doing. So we're taking a view out of this div. We're going to use this div for something else. So we're taking, I'm trying to make it as close to the, to the source, um, as possible to the actual one I showed you as much as possible. So we're just going to put this here, um, within this, um, uh, this, uh, div. So it's just going to be in there. So we're going to have this view and we're going to use this for something else later. Uh, we actually don't need the name passed. So it doesn't, we can just tick this out. It doesn't really do us much good. Sorry. Um, we could do something with it, but I'm trying to make it as close as possible to the one I showed you. So when we're here, what we can do is we can say uh, div class name with with full height full we're just making the div take up all the space as possible uh, we want let's just do that first now what we want to do is since we have this character information what we're gonna say is character make sure it's in curly braces because you're working with that information so we're saying character information which remember it's character data dot data that's what we yeah, that's what we uh, passed in as character information. So this is what it is here: character information and character information dot results. Because, uh, like you remember, this character dot data uh, dot data represents this data, and within this data, like we did in the get uh, request, there's this results in there. So now we're saying character information. Uh, if there's character information and character information dot results, then take oh then map through it, map through all of this information because there are there's a lot of information here. Map through it, and we're gonna give the map. Uh, we're gonna pass um, data as what's as the uh, variable we're using and then we're gonna say return don't forget the return um, and then we're gonna say image um, src image source uh, is one second. okay so the image source give me one second let's check this reference here uh, Okay, so I'm gonna just do this because it's so much easier to understand. Um, it's it's easier to. It's just gonna take us less time. Um,
Okay, let's see if we did something wrong here. Should I just take all this out? Let's see. Image. Source. For source, what we're going to do is close this. Okay, so there's going to be an error because none of this is like, um, we didn't basically explain any of that uh, to the console, to the to the, the application. So let's, so to break this down, we have to go to this, uh, to this um, page. So how to, and then we're going to images. So let's just open this in a new tab. So we're going to images and it's going to tell you that in order to display the image represented, we need this. So, I mean, th in order to, display the image represented which you're alluding to here so let's say we click on this and it says thumbnail so you're alluding to this thumbnail here uh, this thumbnail right here so you're alluding to that so in order to use that we can't just um write this because this means nothing it has to be attached to something so it tells you what to do step by step it says take the path element uh, which is this, select an image variant, which is, um, see the full list below, so it's everything here. Uh, these are all the image variants. And then append the extension. So let's, if we look at what we just, what I just pasted here, I just didn't want to write the whole thing out because it's a pain, but um, we're taking this data, this variable, um, this variable represents everything here like everything in the results. Um, that's what it represents. It's it's just mapping through it. So we now use data and call on anything we want here. So we're saying data dot thumbnail. So we're getting a thumbnail dot path. Um, and this is the path. So we're entering this thumbnail and we're selecting path. And then we're saying image size. So what we don't have is image size. So if we say const image size is equal to um, which one did I use here I said image size was standard fantastic we're just gonna take that so I don't have to retype all that so standard fantastic fanta font fantastic so so if I do that and I save it it still says element is not defined so that's because um, uh, and in, in my actual project, I used element rather than character information. So, I mean, uh, I used element yeah, instead of character information. So I'm just going to say character information and do that. So, give us one second. So we're returning this. So everything so far makes sense. So if we look over here, is there anything else I'm missing that I didn't have? Yep. So we have everything right there. Um, now it's a matter of just rendering this image. Give me one second. This should be rendering right about now. Okay. So we might have made a mistake here. Okay. So I see what we did wrong. As you can see here, it states character information was written in regular not camel case so if we change this to camel case um, it should work so this is now this is the same uh, so now there's an error there we go so everything shows right here so that's the first step so everything does show uh, it's saying we should have a unique key. So here's where it gets interesting. So each image in React has a key attached to it. But what we can say is data.id. So um, it should work now. So let's say pack. There we go. So as you can see, everything is working. It's data.id. As the key so this is important though because this data is here dot ID refers to the ID of each 
um, so this ID, this ID number. It refers to the ID of each um, result. So each Hulk basically has its own unique ID, as you can see here. So we're saying each image, uh, attach each image with its ID. So that's important for when we have to click on each image. But before that, let's go to this um, component here. Um, let's go to, uh, actually, let's go to app.js. So as you see, this is just search. The reason why we can see this is because it's within, um, it's within the search component. We, we, we have it in here. So what we want to do is try and separate it. So let's create a folder, a file, sorry, called home.jsx, R-A-F-C-E, like we've been doing. But here, what we're going to do is import search and view independently. So it's going to import here and then come over to this app.js and rather than having search singularly we're going to have home so because we call this home so now we're going to call home here what's going on home is not defined okay so we're just going to change this to home and say import from home um, typically it should just do that automatically but sometimes it doesn't so now let's take a look at this again and it does it so it's doing the same thing all over again. Uh, we're going to play with the CSS later. So if we look at this, uh, we'll play this with the CSS later, but pretty much that's what you're getting. So if we say Spider-Man, I believe Spider-Man has a hyphen. So you get that. So even if you say spider, because we're using the, because we're using this, so if we go to the index.js, because we are using this parameter name starts with so even if we just put spider or s sorry spider everything spider related will come up uh, if we say s every in s will come up i believe it's 20 per page is what it's limited to so everything will come up i'm not too sure on that i don't remember the documentation so that's pretty much the idea behind that um, now we're going to be using something called uh, React Router DOM. So let's go here. Uh, close this. Clear. And let's go over here and say React Router uh, Router DOM. Let's click on the npm.js one. And you see where you can import it. So it's copy to clipboard, and then just come here and do this. So what we're gonna do with this is route the front end. Um, so npm start. So here we're gonna say everything's back. Now what we're going to do is come to app.js. First, go to index.js. And within this uh, React Strip Modes child, which is app, what we're going to do is put something called browser uh, React. Uh, is it browser DOM or browser React? Something like that. Give me one second. It should say, I believe it's browser. Sorry, I forget the terminology sometimes. Browser router. So. So it's browser router. So just put this app in between here. So all it's doing is it, it's letting the route. Uh, it's 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 making this app uh, a child of the of the browser router. So anything within this is going to work with the routes that we're going to put. So this app is going to work with the routes that we're going to put here. So it makes more sense when I implement it. So let's just close this and this and this. So all we need is this. So now we're going to import routes and then we're going to put home in here. But we're also going to say, so 
let's import it. It's supposed to import automatically, but sometimes it doesn't. So it's R O U T S. And remember to put the curly uh, braces uh, unless it's not gonna it's not gonna work. And then we're gonna do something called route, and we're gonna use link. And we are taking that from React Router. So I guess I didn't do it back here. Oh, so we didn't import it here. Import browser router. There you go. Browser router. And then everything here should be fine. So now we just have to use these. So we have use routes. Now we have to use route without the S. And we're going to say path is equal to this. And the element is equal to home. So now we don't need this. So what this means is if you come over here and you said localhost slash this, it takes you here. So you could say slash search. And if you come, see, so now there's nothing there in this one. But if you said slash search, you have this again. So it's this, it's the front end method using React Router Dump of uh, routing. But we want it at the, at the original site we had it. So just take this out and we should be fine. There we go. So now, and just make sure the element is this. So this is what this path refers to this home uh, component which houses search and view now what we're going to do is we're going to have another one but in this one we're going to have slash id and it's not going to take us to the home so let's just have this first slash id and we're going to Actually, we don't need, we don't need the link here. We're going to create another page, another component called about.jsx. And we're going to say this is going to be our about page. So when we click on, um, let's say, uh, I keep using the same characters, but let's say uh, uh, Captain. Okay, so I, when I click on this right now, nothing happens. So what I want to do is when we click on this, it routes to the ID. So here, what we're going to say is, we'll go back to, we don't need home, uh, this. And anytime, we can put this here. It doesn't really matter. But I did that in my original, so let's just keep it honest. Okay, so we do that. And an element would be guessed it about there we go just gonna click on it so it imports about so let's take uh so this is uh uh this is the parameter we're using uh, so um, it's slash id so anything we put after this um, goes to the about page. So let's say we put slash one, two, three. It goes to the about page. So now you're getting the idea of hmm, if I click on this, uh, okay. if I click on this and it shows an ID because an ID is attached to it, I click on it, the ID is going to show up here and it's going to take me to the about page of this character that I clicked on. So what we need to do now is set out. So just so the video doesn't take too long, uh, we're going to end it here. Um, and in part three, we're going to continue with use effect, use state uh, to pass the ID onto the server side. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for part three. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe.
and we'll see you in part three.